this is what we've got today. Uh, sorting these out, taking this in. We've half done it, this is like a comeback. It's just in the wrong area. So the concept of this video is to try and get inside the head of a climber. Often on YouTube you just see a climber cutting away and you don't really see what the thought process is. So I'm going to try and comment on this video. So as you can see I use a little flick using the bar and um, you can get a little bit clearance there. Um, it's quite useful to do. Um, here I just cut that branch loose, you've got to be confident that it's not just going to fall through. With the rest of the canopy there, I was fairly confident it was going to get caught, but still I'm using directional cuts and step cuts just to get it in the position that I want it. It's sort of a two-tiered work zone, there's the higher tier and the lower tier. Um, the lower tier is directly where the chipper is. Um, there's a few bins and it's kind of like a storage area, so I'm trying to avoid it as best as I can. Um, that roof over there is pretty brittle, it's like a plastic, so I can't get any branches landing on there. Again, just using uh, a bit of a peel cut there. Um, this particular tree is goat willow, it's what we call it here in, in the UK, I don't know if it's got a different name in the states. I've got my two ropes in there on something so brittle as goat willow. You know, two ropes is pretty great. A bit of peace of mind. Again, just going straight with a peel cut. It helps it cling on so I can maneuver it a bit better and it'll peel off dead, dead easy. So you don't need to mess around on smaller branches. Again, just flicking it away into the position that I want. It's the railings down there and uh, them steps that I don't want to dint. You know, probably the most used cut is a step cut, so using that a lot in this video. It's quite surprising, uh, you know, it looks quite complex, but you can do a lot with some simple cuts and some simple knots. Uh, there is a lot of repetition, um, and I think if you just choose um, what you like and what you know, you can really get good at doing them things over and over again just hone in your skills. People may have noticed already um, that I'm not using spikes in this video. Unfortunately my distal geckos um, broke where the leather straps attached to the sort of um, eye bolt. They've got looser and looser and looser and it's unthreaded. Um, so they broke in the morning so I just have to kind of make do. Um, so you'll see me leave little pegs in selective points. I hate leaving pegs. I think it can be dangerous and it slows you down. Um, but I have to leave somewhere to put my feet. So that's what I'm doing in this video. You know, I see a lot of guys, especially when they're newly starting off, they'll pick up their saw ready and take the chain break off, ready to start cutting when they've not got comfortable. And then they start slipping around and getting all dangerous. So before you really put hands on the saw, you, you want to make sure your feet are in the right position, you, you, you've got your lines and the way they want to be, and you're sort of sat back um, and you're real comfortable. little bit about this job it, 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 the job's gone over anyway we've lost money on it um, the job was only supposed to take 
a few hours and it took a fair bit over this is um, we had a little bit of time at the end of the day so we made a start and this is um, an extra day um, of coming back and, and um, finishing it off um, really a lot of people may feel rushed in that situation but I'd rather go steady and um, get the job done safely without damaging anything it's not worth ruining a, a great client relationship trying to rush and get it finished even if you're in the red so it is probably only thin tarmac down there so you need to take care to drop your logs flat uh, you don't want to be piercing any holes in there because I don't have any spikes I'm using this peg that I've left it's just sort of adapting to the day and, and sort of going with the flow really you can't predict everything and if a piece of equipment fails on you you just kind of have to work with it I see a lot of guys overusing their chainsaw I like to use a nice balance of handsaw and, and chainsaw work especially on the the uh, softer woods goat willow poplar lime even on the harder woods just keep your silky sharp and it can do a lot Just the obvious things, trying to get the butts towards the chipper. It's kind of a weird site and, and a weird job because we sort of quoted it for when the roofers weren't there and all the scaffolding wasn't there. Um, and when we arrived, there were skips in the way. Just taking the top there. When we arrived, those skips in the way and the scaffolding was all there, so it kind of changed the approach. Um, Obviously, we don't want roofers working above us, um, dropping all sorts on us. Slightly bigger log, so I decided to chuck it on the soil there and just doing the last cut. I hope you enjoyed that commentary style video. Let me know if you want to see more of it in the future. I really appreciate all the, the comments and feedback and, and conversation we've all been having in the comments and I really appreciate all of you and look forward to making more videos in the future.